Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have, as promised, my vintage haul video. So I got a whole bunch of goodies for the month of July and I'm waiting to show it to you guys. Up until today, it was kind of hard because I really wanted to open my mail. There's really just, you know, nothing like receiving a package in the mail and then wanting to open it. But I did wait and so here we are. I have a whole bunch of packages in front of me. There are some non-vintage items, but I think they're gonna go really well with the rest of the things that I got. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. All right, so the first thing I have for you guys is this package. Now, I don't remember what the heck it is, but I wanna say it is something vintage. I probably got it, um, I wanna say from Poshmark, cause I think that I remember ordering something on Poshmark that I saw, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm not even gonna make an offer, cause you know, sometimes you can make an offer on Poshmark for sellers, um, you know, if you, you want a deal. But really, this I think was a really good deal already. So let's go ahead and see what it is, you guys. I'm excited. All right, so. So it comes nicely wrapped, which is good. I did wait a whole bunch of time for this, so I really hope it's worth it and I like it. Now it does come with a little note, so that's really sweet. I always like when sellers actually put something kind of unique just to say thank you. I used to actually sell some vintage online a while back, but I kind of stopped because I really like to hoard it more than I do sell it. But every time that I would sell, I always try to do something personalized just to tell the seller. I mean, just to tell the buyer, you know, thank you so much for shopping with me. Really appreciate doing business with you. Just a little something, and it always felt really nice to have it wrapped. I remember doing that all the time, too. All right, so let's see. I think, yes. Dun, dun. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm... Totally obsessed with like poodle things and I thought my obsession had stopped recently but obviously it hasn't I remember actually getting this and seeing it that day and I just was like Ugh. you know you get that like mini heart attack when you see something you really want and you just have to check out as soon as possible before anyone does so really that was it for me I really really freaking have an addiction to poodle items from like the 1950s and the 60s I know the poodle loving community is big but there's just some diehard fans out there and I want to consider myself one of them because really there's nothing like a cute little 50s poodle whether it be on a purse on a sweater or anything so I'm really excited about this little clutch I don't know if there's a maker tag in here actually because when I saw it it was just closed they didn't actually have on the Poshmark um, sale page that I saw this on they didn't actually have anything inside but it does look pretty clean I don't think it's really that bad and it's just it's, it's a cute little lucite poodle super adorable super super cute I like it I'm excited to wear it I'm just gonna like clean it a little wipe it down put it on the back with all the rest of my purses you guys this is really amazing it's really small though I don't even think I could actually fit my phone in it but you know what who cares when you have this who cares all right so moving on let's see what else I got so the next thing in front of me is this package now just from reading from where this is at, I want to say this is a something I actually ordered in like the beginning of June. But because of the quarantine, I don't think it was here in the U.S. until like mid-July. So it was a really crazy time kind of waiting for this in the mail. Um, I want to see this item. I think it's like from somewhere in Europe. I don't know why it took so long. Usually when I order things from Europe, they're a lot more faster. But I think it's just a quarantine. So let's see what it is. <gasps> I like the package. I really like it. It's coming to my mind what it is actually. I remember I saw it on a novelty group sale page on Facebook. A really beautiful dress. And sometimes it's really hard to find something that'll fit me because I really love novelty purses and novelty anything, especially novelty clothes and skirts. But sometimes it's a little hard to even want to consider just altering it. So as soon as I saw this, I remember thinking I have to have it. It was my size at the time, but it's beautiful. Check it out, you guys. I don't think you guys can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wear this 
and show it to you guys later on. It's a beautiful, beautiful dress. It's, I believe this is like a 1940s dress and it has a bigger waistline because we know girls in the 50s were a whole lot smarter. Apparently they didn't have hot Cheetos back then, so it must have been a hard life. But I don't know, I really like this. It's beautiful. I think the reason that I really wanted to get it was the color. And even though it's pretty sheer, if you just wear it with like a light slip underneath, I think it would look amazing. Yeah, so hopefully you guys will see me wearing this sometime soon. I want to do a whole lookbook for you guys on vintage items, especially for the fall coming. This one I think you can kind of wear it for any season really. It has some adorable little ballerinas. Now, uh, with novelty prints I don't usually go for ballerinas or um, floral prints which are really big. I love more of like the, you know, poodles, definitely poodles and other animal type of novelty skirts. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what else I got. So this other package, I wanna say this is also from Poshmark, and I did get this one recently, so I'm pretty excited to open it. I always love the things that you find on Poshmark. People sometimes don't even know how amazing as, um, things you can really find as long as you have the time and dedication to scroll through all those things. So I got this really cute pineapple purse. Check it out, everyone. Now, I'm totally a big fan of the pineapple purses. This one reminded me of the Kate Spade novelty pineapple purse, the Michael Kors one. Um, I think there was also a Betsy Johnson one. And then, of course, I believe I got a... I want to say I got a pineapple one too from Collective about a year or two ago that I did wear. But I don't know. I like to add them on. Add on the wicker novelty purses to my collection. And this one I really appreciate that it has kind of like a more longer strap to it than the ones that I've seen. And of course this one I think I got it for 20 bucks. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Especially because the Kate Spade ones as soon as they sell out they're always like freaking $500, $600, $700, $1,000. The camel purse that I've been looking for, dying to find a good deal on you guys. It's still like a thousand dollars, so rip my collection. But still, I really like this purse. Now I didn't actually see it on the inside too, so hopefully, um, yep, it looks pretty good, and it has its other strap in here, original. So I want to say this is, um, I can't remember. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a Serpi bag. Really cute, really cute, and it's like new, so I'm gonna be wearing this on a cute little outfit for you guys as well. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what else I got. So this other item that I got, I don't even know what it is. I can't remember what it is, but I just remember trying to open it, and I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just show it to everyone. So here we are. I have no clue what it is. Better be something good. Okay. like a present to myself really cute bag look at it okay so this awesome bag I want to say I got it from eBay and I also got it you know within like the $20 range so it is another really cute 50 60 style poodle purse now I'm obviously a big fan like you guys know but the thing I like about these type of purses is you can actually wipe them down because they're plastic sometimes there's some beautiful vintage purses that I pass on or that I don't even consider wearing out just because they're way too stinky or it's harder to you know just wipe them down or wash them and sometimes I get scared and I don't want to I don't want to hurt them but this one is really nice I think it's a really big decent size so you can fit your items in there I'm definitely going to be wearing this one to work into you know other casual areas that I can find I really like it I think it's decent I really like the poodle and I really like the detail of the poodle I like the little pearls. I like that it's just it's just a good color. It's a really, really good color. So I'm happy about that. Now, the other item that I got, I did open some of these things that I'm gonna show you guys, but I really, really can't wait to wear this cutie out. It is a beautiful poodle cardigan. And I want to say I got this one also on eBay and it was like 20 freaking bucks. I'm going to be wearing this out for the fall. It's just too freaking hot right now in California. It's like 100 degrees every day. So 
sometimes when I do look at things like that I get just hot thinking about it but I'm really excited to wear it and it was an amazing condition I haven't even washed it because it just it's so perfect and I love that it has all these different poodles with color, like different colored poodles. Now, there were several of these that I passed on from more experienced sellers. You know, the poodle, the poodle loving community, it's a diehard community and sometimes things get pricey, but this one I'm kind of glad I found it on eBay, which I still consider somehow part of the wild, you know. So I got it on a good deal. Really excited to wear that. Another thing that I got similar to that one was this poodle cardigan. So this one I did get at a while back too and I just haven't had a chance to wash this one. This one I'm definitely gonna be washing you guys. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. It's just old. The poodles also look like they're, you know, they've had a hard life or a good life. I don't know. But still, I think that I'm gonna be wearing this one also because I really like it for the fall. Just a beautiful brown color. But yeah, I like that one. Now the last thing I got, I'm already thinking ahead for Christmas. I know we're still in June, July, August, all these summery months, but I'm just thinking ahead. So when I saw this come up for a bit on eBay, I was like, I can't pass it. But even with all this free time that we have now, with not being able to go out, I still haven't been able to do what I wanna do with this amazing fabric. This is like the most cutest freaking fabric that I've seen. It is just so cute and it's like such a perfect color for Christmas that I wanna make it into the most beautiful full circle skirt. But I don't have time. So yeah, I'm the one that actually won this on a bid and I was really happy about that. I've had this for like a month now and I still haven't done anything with it. I have about like almost 10 yards of that fabric. So be, be out on the lookout because with that much fabric, I just think I want to make a whole skirt video for you guys to see that process. Well, depending on if my skills are still there, but I, I believe they are. It's just kind of finding the time and the space. Um, if I do decide to make a skirt, I probably will not use more than five yards, so I will probably be selling the rest of this adorable fabric. Just love it, I just love this. I'm totally like a big puppy, poodle, novelty skirt and fabric kind of gal, so I really was ecstatic to find that. All right, so we made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed just having a fun look at all the different things that I got in the mail. Um, I'm actually pretty excited too because a lot of the stuff I didn't really see it until now and it was in pretty good condition so I'm always happy with that. There's sometimes, you know, with vintage that you just don't know it's gonna be like a hit or miss if you know it comes in that condition as stated so it's always a little worrisome when you get things and you don't open them right away because sometimes you know there's discrepancies with the way things are described but I was super happy I hope you guys were too thank you again for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video I'm really excited I have a lot of different cool things to show you guys I have some worker novelty purses coming all the way from Australia so I'm really 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 intrigued to see um, how they're gonna come out. Um, I ordered these novelty purses a while ago so I hope that you guys will stay tuned, subscribe so you can see my review and my lookbook for them. Thank you again. Bye!